All right, guys. Uh, self made for cheap again. This is, uh, we're going to wire it up. So we're going to start off with the fan down here at the bottom. Uh, as you already know, we ran the fan out through the hose that's already at the bottom of the refrigerator. So we come around to the back of the refrigerator. Around to the bottom. And you see these two wires barely coming out here. These are the um, the fan wires. We're going to use these little butt connectors. I don't know if they're called butt connectors, but coupling, probably coupling connectors. We're just going to use these to uh, connect that. Uh, let me see these. Connect that to this wire. Now, all you do, let me see if I can pop this up so we can see it a little bit. Okay. All you do is take your wire, strip it. I've already stripped it. Hopefully, you know how to strip them. You take this, you slide it on like that. You get your crimps here or your wire strippers or whatever you want to call them. Trying to do this, you know. And then you just squeeze it on tight. Once you squeeze it on, you give it a tug, make sure you got it on there. And then you put your, your fan wire into that. You, you do the same thing to this side. Um, pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. Alright, so I connected it just like I said I was going to do. And uh, we're, we're just going to run this all the way to the top of the refrigerator. To where the, uh, the control panel is. And then I'm going to show you how to wire it up there. Now... We're going to do the same thing. These two wires. These two wires come from the uh, uh, element, the heating element, the burner eye. We're going to clamp the, crimp these together to another wire just like we did the fan. But first we're going to wire the, um, the fan in because I'm using the same color wire for all of them and I don't want them to get them mixed up. So I'll wire this first. But I'm not gonna come back. I'm not going to come back down here and show you how to uh, connect these to this wire because I just showed you how to do it on this fan, and you do that the same exact way. So, give me a second. All right, now we're going to uh, hook the fan up. These are the wires coming from our fan. What you want to do? We're going to use uh, this switch for the fan. If you notice on the back of the fans, oh well, on the back of the switches, a lot of the switches you'll see male connectors. Um, these are male connectors on the back of this too. So you're gonna want to order you some uh, female connectors. Um, I got these off of uh, eBay as well. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take one of the wires coming from the fan. I'm going with the black wire in this case, and you put a female connector on there, and you connect this to your Mail connector on your switch. One's mail connectors. This one's a little too big, so I'm gonna clamp it down a little bit so that it, it fits the mail a little tighter. This girl is a little loose. <laughs> no offense, ladies. All right. Make it look tighter. Alright, and then you want to take the other end of your fan wire. This is our this is our power source right here. This is what's going to plug into the wall. So you're also going to need uh, wire nuts as well. I just bought an assorted pack from um, Harbor Freight. But you want to uh, wire one of the wires, in this case the white wire, directly to your power source. Strip this back a little bit further. So I got enough wires to twist together. And you're gonna twist those together. I'm gonna use a large wire nut because I'm gonna hook up a lot more 
wires to this. So that's temporary. Just to hold it together, we know where we want it to go. So then you want to make a female, another female connector on the, just a short wire, about eight inches, I guess. Um, and connect that right above, right with the uh, black wire. Let's tighten this up a little bit again. Plug this in here. Perfect. And we'll connect that to the other end of our power supply wire. I hope you can see this. Okay. And then that's our fan. What happens is uh, this switch disconnects and connects this one current of power so that the fan shuts on and off okay since we're already up here let's go ahead and wire our fan uh, our light switch which is coming out of the top of the refrigerator right here there's just a hole right here where I uh, drilled in to run the light through the top. I showed you that in a previous video. So, I'm thinking that this would be my ground wire here. There's a green one. So this red one I'm gonna strip. To do, and then this one. Let's strip a little back further. Yeah. All right. Not sure if I lost you or not, but so I can get you set back up so you can see what's going on again. This is a little more. Mm -hmm. I hope you can see what's going on there. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing that we just did with the fan. We're gonna do it with the light. We're gonna take one wire and we're gonna hook it up directly to power supply wire that plugs into the wall take them wrap them together and then, oh, I twisted them the wrong way that one. put the wire nut on there loosely because I'm going to add more to it This wire I'm going to have to extend a little, so I'm going to use a, I'm going to use a coupling. Well, let me grab a smaller one. Give me one second. second. 